Good morning, I'm in the Dales and it's freezing. <laughs> Fingertips are numb. Just about well, I've I have got a lot of extra warm stuff, but I'm gonna stay a bit chilly now because I'm gonna be walking up there. It's um gonna be cold and windy apparently, but I don't I think it's gonna be dry. But we'll see. It's uh, I'm gonna have to put my second hat on as well. Anyway, I'm gonna set off in a minute. Just um, get my sticks out the back and uh, stick. I don't think I need to. And uh, see what the day holds. And we're off. Uh, it's just a bit of a switchback. I think I go up here and I go back up there somewhere. Anyway, probably well overloaded with stuff. It doesn't feel too heavy, but it's quite bulky because uh, I've got all my bits and pieces in case it's uh, weather turns foul. There's going to be wind noise. Um, I'm not faffing for a mic today because uh, obviously it's quite cold. Um, the when I was looking at the weather, it's right with the wind. They're going to be over 30 miles an hour or 30 knots. Who knows what that reading is? And um, Wind chill factor is going to be minus 10 Celsius, and I think without the wind chill factor, it's going to be about one degree. So it's going to be cold. Fingertips haven't warmed up yet. I've got my second pair of gloves on. I have to get me other gloves out, which means taking my backpack off. Uh, just realised I said, never said where I was going. I'm going up to Buckton Pike. I'm parked down the bottom there and the, there's a car park. £4.50 for the day. Uh, unfortunately it's not a National Trust one. It's the Dales. Um, anyway, it's a slow climb up. Fingertips have warmed up. A little bit short here. Obviously it says it's got the camera out. The wind started again. Not sure what's around the corner there, but we shall find out. But I thought I'd get the camera out while there was no wind. <laughs> when you come to the split in the footpath, you know you're going to take the right turn. There you go. Oh, I wish I had the foot of that. from you can't really see you're coming up and across it's sort of I think the pike is straight up there you come up the path comes up and across it keeps going up you can watch as you go and then eventually you do a right turn go across the top and I'm looking over there and I can't tell. I wish I put my binoculars. Something dark over there, I can't work out what it is. But uh, time for a cup of tea. Usually on the other side of these fences is fairly sheltered. If it's dry, it's a little bit swampy in places, or boggy should we say. But uh, yeah, I need to get out more. Damn hills. Found a wall to sit on. Looks like there might be a cave up there. I'll go and have a look later. I need a cup of tea. Just yet, so. Cup of tea and a bit of uh, malt growth. Keep me going. Now I hope 
rope. And at last, I've gone through about three false summits. And that wind is bitter, 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 bitter. started going towards the um, Polish Memorial and you'd get one of those stars, you know, you have to climb up and over the wall. We got to the top and oh my god, that wind. And I thought, nah, um, I'll just have to save that for another day. <sighs> Took me a little bit longer than I anticipated to get up here, as per usual. And <laughs> I tell you, these false summits and a lot of all this is all stairs going up there I'm riding so much of Scarfell and I've got this bunch of stairs here look to walk down so I'll have to put you away because I'll need to balance alright I've got about an hour before sunset so I've been trying to get a jig along but uh, I think I'll make it well I made it back to the car before sunset Um, it was cold up there. I had um, just going to show you what I did. This is my selfie stick, and my phone went dead because of the cold. Even though I plugged in the power pack, it still wouldn't charge. This has gone cold now, but I got one of those hand warmers and I put it at the back of a thing like that, and then put the phone in there like that. Obviously, then I shoved it in my jumper, <laughs> my jacket. And then once that got charging, that seemed to work quite well. So obviously it's, that's lost all its heat now. And that's only been open two, three hours. And these things can last supposedly eight hours. But that's how cold it was. Bitter at the top. I, I wanted to go and see that memorial, but it would have been pushing it. It was so very windy. Like there's windy and then there's very windy, isn't there? <laughs> if you know what I mean. Anyway. I wanted to go down to see that memorial, but it was so windy and I thought, I've got to come all this way back down. That was... I I never actually marked it out to find out actually how long the walk was. It doesn't look very long on the OS map, put it that way. Um... I shall update me Fitbit and find out. I can't imagine it being the whole thing being more than um <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was just looking like that and I'm thinking, hmm. I don't think my nose does look straight. I had an accident a little while ago and my nose got bashed and uh I think it's been knocked out of knocked out of straightness anyway whatever um i can imagine it wouldn't be more than five miles uh, bloody hard five miles reminding me of bloody going to scarf out at some places never ending um yeah also uh i could uh, be quite nice to uh i need a proper day day bag I need a, a decent sized one for winter really, you know, to carry an extra clothes and, and, you know, bits and pieces than you do in summer. So I need a decent size for winter, probably between 35 and 40 litre I would say. Good back support, my lower back's a bit stiff now, but, so it wasn't that, that good. I just... Uh, yeah, so I could, uh, any recommendations, pop them in the comments down below. Clothes-wise, I think I, 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 I wasn't sure what I was going to do, you know, to keep warm. Because while you're moving, you know you're warm. 
this combination worked quite well. I got my, um, I had my Aldi Merino top, my Marks and Spencer's fleece stuff had for years, it's just from their cheaper, cheaper range. I think they paid about a tenner for it. I think they're about 15 now or something, I don't know. I've had it quite a while, obviously. And this little puffy jacket, which I got from Mazda. And it's for summer, it's a summer puffy jacket. But, while you're moving, oh, I had my merino buff on. I started with merino fingerless gloves, and then I just put some other stretchy gloves over the top, then I changed them out to my, they're in the back of the car now, heat, those heat ones. They're fingerless with the the finger bit that come over. They're quite, they work out quite well, actually, in cold. Because um, once your fingers are warmed up, you can flip the thing off if you need to do anything, and then you put it back on. Which is when you're using one of these touch phones, you need your fingers, even those gloves, you know, they don't work after a while. They work when you first get them, and then they don't work anymore. Um, you know, there's touch things. Right, so that worked out well. Legs are a bit cold. I probably... Yeah, I could have done something else. I've got these the Craig Hoppers, these like really stretchy trousers, sort of like really thick leggings. I probably could have done something else. I don't think, because it was yeah, cold, okay, coldish. I when legs were never, I was never hot in the legs. I think if I had a second layer on, I would have got a bit hot though on the legs. Ended up with two hats on. Uh, yeah, a fleece one and then the other one that I can tie under my chin, which is quite good for in the wind. I'm going to just going to have my cup of tea now, because I didn't drink all my tea, because, you know, who wants to stop and sit in the wind? I found that a reasonable place, but... I thought I might find something sheltered, more sheltered, but... You know, time runs out, isn't it? Quickly. I thought I better get, I don't know how long it's going to take me. It took me long to get up there than I thought, so. Oh, God, I've been talking for a long time. Um, yeah, so it took me, so I wasn't sure how long it didn't take me very long to get down at all. Um, I would say, because I did stop and have a bite to eat as well on the way down. Yeah, so it only took me about an hour, maybe an hour and a quarter to get back down. It took me a lot longer to get up than that. <laughs> Out of practice, isn't it? Just not doing the walks as, as much as I used to. Everything's, everything's an effort. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next one.